Hey, how you doing everybody? Welcome back to Big Frogs 4x4. Today I'm going to talk about something more important than cars, trucks, 4x4s, or tools. We remember Good Friday. Good Friday, for millions of people around the globe, is remembered as the day that Jesus was nailed to the cross and crucified. Three days later, rose from the grave. I know many of you may unsubscribe because of this video. Many of you may shut it off right now because you don't want to hear it. Oh man, it's Big Frogs 4x4 is preaching. I do these videos for the sheer enjoyment, education of other people. Jesus and 11 of the 12 disciples were up on a mountainside. Maybe similar to what you see around here with trees, in a, except with a garden. And during that time, Jesus prayed and the disciples kept falling asleep. Judas, one of Jesus' 12 disciples, one of his friends, had gone and betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, brought the soldiers up to Jesus to arrest him. When Judas got to Jesus, he betrayed him with a kiss. After that, Peter became outraged, swung a sword, and cut the ear off of one of the soldiers. The rest of the disciples scattered, and afterwards, Peter did as well. Now Jesus stand alone with one friend who betrayed him and soldiers. Jesus reached down, and he healed the man's ear that Peter had cut off. Even though he knew that soldier was going to take him in for trial. At Jesus' trial, he went to, went to Pilate, where Pilate couldn't find anything to really charge Jesus with. So he took Jesus out before the people, before the crowd. People who only days before were worshiping and praising Jesus and cheering, Hosanna, Hosanna, now were trying to crucify him. They chose a criminal Barabbas over their Savior Jesus. He then ordered him to be beaten. If you're not familiar with the Roman beatings, it would have been a whip with chunks of bone and rock and stone in it. And when they'd swing it, it would actually dig into the flesh and pull the flesh off of the back, exposing vessels and muscles and bone. They then forced a crown of thorns upon his head and shoved the thorns down into his scalp, having blood run down over his face. At this point, he would have been almost at death because of blood loss. Jesus was then forced to carry his cross most of the way up to the hillside where he finally passed out, fell to the ground from the beating he had sustained and someone came along and helped him carry the cross up the hill. There they laid Jesus on the cross once they reached the top of the hill and drove nails through his hands and feet, and then stood him up and dropped into the ground. The agony, the pain of a Roman crucifixion is more than most people could even imagine. And he did this willingly and went willingly. From there, he uttered the words, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Even after all of that, all of that pain, all of that agony, he was still able to get out the words, please forgive them. One of the criminals mocked Jesus. The other one defended Jesus, and Jesus said, today you will be with my Father in paradise. Jesus then died on that cross for you and I. I hope that you've listened to this story. You look into it more in the Bible, the Gospels, Mark, Luke, John, and see for yourself 
Because in three days after Good Friday, the story doesn't end. Jesus does something that no one has ever done before. On Easter, Jesus rises from the grave. That is the day of celebration. Good Friday is the day of remembrance, but Easter is the day of celebration. The grave, the tomb that Jesus was buried in, is now empty. He has wiped away the sins. If you ask for your forgiveness of your sins, he will wipe those away and make give your life to Jesus and make yourself a follower of him. As always, thanks for watching Big Frogs 4x4. God bless.